Well, it's a freezing day. It snowed yesterday, iced, but not as much. It hasn't stuck, but it's really cold. Uh, but today I thought there's something I wanted to discuss and it's probably better done face to face rather than me hiking, cycling or whatever I do outdoors. Probably better to be done face to face. So here I am talking to you through a few points that I'd like to discuss and I think I think you're going to love them because it relates to every one of you. So what I wanted to discuss today is six fun ways to disengage and recharge your daily routine. So you may wake up in the morning, look out the window, it's still dark if it's winter, it's probably raining, it's probably cold, it's a bit gloomy. So you go back, you hit your snooze button on your alarm and go back to bed for a while. The alarm goes off again, you get up, you probably walk around your room, say, I'll sleep in for a few more minutes, hit the snooze, go back to bed for a while. But that's all well and good. Everyone does it. I do it sometimes as well. And I think we're allowed to do that. We shouldn't be too hard on ourselves and we should treat ourselves to a few snoozes. So we know the year is made up of various seasons. You've got the winter, you've got the spring, you've got the summer, you've got the autumn. And most importantly, the winter brings people down quite a bit. It makes them feel slightly uneasy about everything. And most importantly, what it does is makes you go out less and do things less in nature, in the wilderness, simply because the weather is probably not what you want and it's cold and it's gloomy at times and it's just wet and damp. And so it brings you down quite a bit. My point number one is for you to get outdoors, disconnect from everything, your daily routine and re-engage into yourself being this outdoors person, actually reconnect with nature is to join meetup groups. Meetups and groups, I mean um, things like a hikers group or a cycling group. Um, or an outdoor nature photography group, for example. Uh, you may want to find your local group and actually join them and actually see what they have to offer. And you will see they arrange hikes every month, cycling um, rides every month, uh, possibly photography expeditions to different parts of uh, your country or wherever you are, city. Then it's a great way to actually bring yourself out and revive yourself from the doom and gloom of the winter, for example. In the summer, you'll probably get out and do a lot more, but the groups and the meetups do help you in actually engaging with these other people who are, have got similar interests. So it's a great way to actually get out, do things more, uh, revitalize yourself and actually have a purpose and a reason to get out and do these. So that's my point number one join meetups or groups preferably to do with something you like to do outdoors and if it's something you don't like to do outdoors or you haven't really tried there's no harm in joining them and starting today my point number two is to take a break and get some fresh air go outside get some fresh air and and take a break from your daily routine so whether you're at work or you're sitting at home or um, uh, you've got to be out and about running errands all day, take a little break and get outside. So for example, if you're going to work daily and you need to um, be there from a certain time, from nine to five, why not take your lunch break outside? So go to your local park, sit on a bench and take a break. Um, alternatively, what you could do, uh, part of that lunch break, is also take a walk along a river or um, around a lake if you have a park with a lake nearby. Feed the ducks, 
just get out into nature and get a breather really away from that daily routine of being behind a desk and working. You can also uh, ride into work. So if you want to cycle and want to get a bit fit and actually use this ride to work as a fitness regime, then why don't you ride to work in the morning and come back in the evening? And when you do the rides, try and find a route that actually takes you into traffic free areas whereby you're going into nature or dipping in and out into uh, road and nature and coming back out and then getting to work. Not only do you get exercise, but you get energized, feel fitter, and you've tapped into nature to make you feel better. So that's my point number two. Find a way to actually take a break into nature during your daily routine. My point number three of how you can disengage and recharge your daily routine is try and find a hobby. Every one of us has a hobby. We like to do things. So why not find a hobby that will take you outdoors, that will take you into nature, that will take you into the wilderness. Try and find a hobby around that. So it could be something like, uh, I don't know, um, cycling, come up with cycling. How about bird watching? If you like to watch birds or wildlife, why don't you go bird watching? Um, photography, uh, grab a camera, whether it's your phone camera or a proper professional camera, if you're a hobbyist, then that's a great thing to energize you and incentivize you to actually get outdoors. So find a hobby that has something to do with outdoor pursuits. Um, so photography, landscape photography will take you outdoors. If you want to cycle, take up mountain biking, which will take you into nature and into the outdoors. Um, there's other things like uh, charity work or volunteering work. So uh, beekeeping, for example, you could do that. If you, if you love that sort of thing and you like the organic factor about life and the organic factor about having natural honey and you want to actually help, then help a beekeeper. It'll help you get into nature and connect with bees, wildlife, etc. Uh, what about volunteering? You can volunteer with various charities to upkeep nature trails, hiking trails, um, cycling routes, um, cut down branches, trim the, the trails, the bushes around the side. You could help with that in your spare time. That will help you get out into nature. It'll help you disengage and it'll help you recharge your daily routine by getting into nature. My point number four, to uh, disengage and recharge your daily routine, to learn more, start learning more. So life is about learning. Everything we do in our daily life, it's about learning, it's about experiencing, it's learning from that experience, and in many cases, putting it into practice. So if you want to learn more, why not pick something to do with the outdoors, to do with nature, to do with an outdoor pursuit. So for example, you can learn to how to read maps. So uh, learn how to read ordnance survey maps, uh, hiking maps, mountain biking maps, cycling maps, things like that. Um, you can learn about outdoor clothing. If you want to do more things in nature, then you might look into the sorts of boots you might need uh, for uh, certain terrain. Um, you can help yourself in various areas by learning about these things. Um, you could be interested in wild food, for example. So why not go foraging for food and, and actually use that food and cook it? So you could actually learn more about foraging. You can find books on them. You can actually take courses on them and go out foraging for food in nature and in forests and woodlands. Um, talking about food, what about um, cooking wild food? So there's so many recipes and, and experienced recipes from uh, experienced adventurers who go out foraging and cook this food outdoors. So you can learn about foraging and how to cook these amazing recipes and, and cook them out in the wild. So next time you're out camping or you wanna bring this food that you found in the woodlands back home and cook it at home, you could have recipes to use these ingredients and, and cook them. It's a great way to completely disengage from your daily life and it's a fantastic way to actually recharge your daily routine. So there you go, go and find something you wanna 
learn about and, and learn deeply about that because that will be the most satisfying. So my fifth way, fifth, fifth way to actually disengage and recharge yourself uh, during your daily routine is to find a way to get healthy outdoors. So you might be one of those who heads to the gym or um, works out at home. You might have a treadmill at home or something like that. Um, but a great way to actually get a lot of incentive and that fitness ability and that improve that well-being is to actually get outdoors and get fit outdoors. So go outdoors, go into nature, into a forest, into your local park and um, exercise. Go out there and exercise. So you might want to go cycling, you might want to go fast walking, if that's what they call it, fast walking. Uh, you might want to go running, jogging, um, run with your dog. Um, so many different things but exercising outdoors is an amazing way to actually find a reason to get outdoors so you could also do this before you go to the gym so if you're going to the gym um, one particular day why not find a little trail that you can run around in nature before you get to the gym so run to the gym through the nature trail so you're warmed up and when you hit the gym you do your workout it's a great way to get fit. It's a great way to connect with nature. It's absolutely amazing to disengage from your daily life and a superb way to recharge yourself from your daily routine. So my sixth and final way to uh, disengage and recharge your daily routine would be to go out and spend overnight or a weekend out in the wilderness. So. You may want to go camping or wild camping or find a cottage or find, a, 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 I don't know, bed and breakfast or a little lodge somewhere in the wilderness. If you're not into camping or wild camping or, or just camping in general, then you might want to find a lodge or chalet and go out for the night, spend the night out there, hike for two days or spend a weekend there, get in two days or three days of hiking and spend as much time as you can in nature. You can do all of the above mentioned points during that overnight stay. So you can go foraging, you can do your photography, you can get some exercise, um, you can learn a lot more while you're out there in the wild and actually spend some uh, needful time, some mindful time camping or staying in a lodge or staying in an Airbnb perhaps or some kind of bed and breakfast in the wilderness. So go out for the weekend, go out for the night and try and do that once in six months or a couple of times in six months, uh, two, three times a year would be amazing and spend time in nature. So if you're looking for a reason to actually get out in nature and do something different, then a good way to actually find that purpose is actually spending more time than a few hours in nature. So an overnight stay, a weekend stay, somewhere in nature, in the wilderness, in a national park or um, just some kind of forest, uh, then that's a great way to incentivize yourself, your family, friends, to actually get out and do something different for yourselves. So there you go, guys. Those are my six fun ways to disengage and recharge your daily routine. So just to recap, point number one, join meetups or groups. Point number two, get some fresh air from your daily routine. Point number three, Find a hobby to do with the outdoors. Point number four, life is about learning. Learn something to do with the outdoors. Point number five, get healthy and get fit outdoors. And point number six, go spend some overnight or a weekend outdoors. Do it two or three times a year, if not more. Those six points will absolutely help you to engage in a part of your life, in a part of your family's life, in a part of your mindfulness's life uh, in, in amazing ways. It will recharge you for weeks, for days, for months to come. So go out and utilize these six points and do something different 
for yourself. Remember, everything I'm doing, everything I'm saying to you is for you, it's for your benefit. So I really hope these six points have hit home and you can find at least a few of them and do them every week, every month. But try and find time, make time. If you don't have time, prioritize your time to get outdoors with these six points every week. Until later, I will see you out and about.